Thanks for joining us cloners! You're just in time for a game of Commander Arch Enemy, this time featuring June as not just the enemy, but the Arch Enemy. He's playing June.deck, which as everyone should know at this point is... Carador Ghost Chieftain. He plays it a lot, but I think this is his first time playing on the channel as the Arch Enemy. June likes to close games out with Crater of Behemoth or waiting till late game in Sepulchral Primordial Big Guys into play, beating everyone down. That's usually how I see him win. The team this game is Ra playing one of his signature decks, Niv Mizzet the Firemind. This is about as a combo a deck as it gets. Everyone knows Curiosity plus Niv Mizzet equals tickets home. Josh is playing his Karn Silver Golem deck. I remember this deck. He likes to ramp and blow up lands. So much death. So much destruction. Also, I'm here playing a Perforos God of the Forge. More token production that you can shake a god hammer at. Let's see if the team can actually survive this game. Alright, let's do it! As the big dog, June starts the game and starts it at 80 lives. His first scheme of the game is the extra turn scheme, all in good time. Kinda sucks getting that one turn one, as most of the schemes suck on turn one. He plays and breaks Marsh Flats to get a land, paying a life. He communes with some gods on his second turn. My hand sucks pretty hard this game, but Josh does throw down on some second edition Soul Ring. June then schemes Look Skyward and Despair, giving him a 5-5 Dargan. On the team's turn, Josh actually doesn't have a second land drop. But he does have all the artifact ramp with these cards. On June's turn, he schemes your fate is thrice sealed, putting two lands from the top of his library into play. June gets back commune with the gods with eternal witness and recasts it to get survival of the fittest. That is not too shabby. June then attacks Josh for 5 with the Draco Malfoy. On the team's turn, I cast a stupid Goblin Chieftain, and Josh casts a turn 3 Karn Liberatad, which he uses to exile the token. Unfortunately for the team, June schemes My Wish is Your Command, taking the Temporal Manipulation from Rob's hand and casting it. June casts Sun Titan to get back Solring and then cast Victimize on the Ewit to return both Massacre Worm and Angel of Serenity. I lose 2 life. On a second turn, June schemes all shall smolder in my wake, blowing up Josh's Soul Ring and 100% of Josh's lands. June now surprisingly has enough mana to cast Crater Health Behemoth, but luckily we're all still at a high life total. June then attacks and deals 38 points of damage to Josh, but fortunately for Josh, he... No, Josh totally dies. My hand still sucks, so I just cast Perforos, and Rob continues to do nothing. On his turn, June schemes into my crushing Masterstroke, which masterfully takes control of my Perforos, and gives it Host. June casts Golgari Thug, dealing Rob and I 2 damage. June thinks for a long time and casts a Dead Bridge chant. June then attacks Rob for 13 and me for 11. He then returns a creature to play and deals us another 2 damage. Rob puts Temporal Mastery on top of his library at the end of June's turn with Mystical Tutor. On his turn, Rob miracles into Temporal Mastery during his draw step to take an extra turn. Never before did I think I would enjoy so much seeing Rob take an extra turn with that deck as I do now. I pay one life into Wood of Foothills. I then cast Siege Gang Commander, bringing three extra party goblins, and dealing June 8 damage. Rob casts Gilded Lotus on his next turn. During his scheme phase, June reveals Nature Demands an Offering, which shuffles our stuffs into our library in response to losing his Gilded Lotus. Rob casts Factor Fiction to add Force of Will to hand. Rob can counter June's Victimize, but he's still going to have enough damage to kill Rob this turn, and enough to kill me next turn. 
Well, there it is. Crater Health Behemoth once again wins the game for June. So, Perforos is not a good commander for Arch Enemy. It has very little disruption and needs even longer to kill the Arch Enemy since he starts at double his normal life total. Karn had a nice play this game with a turn 3 Planeswalker Karn, but that was about it before he died. Rob's deck doesn't really control the game so much as it wins the game, only not nearly that quickly. June getting so many lands out so quickly is what really did it for us. Alright, that is the game. Hope you guys like seeing arch enemy victories, as that is typically not the case. And if you want to check out some other games of Arch Enemy we played, including this one here, featuring Josh playing his synergistic Sign of the Ur Dragon deck, just click below the link on screen. Wait, click on the link? That doesn't seem right. Okay, I guess click on the link. Take care, people. All right.